Aditi Now's SME caravan set out to explore Aerodry, a 14-year-old Noida-based company that makes engineering products to help small and medium enterprises automate their production processes. At the helm of affairs is Arun Pundeer, a mechanical engineer by qualification but always an entrepreneur at heart. With my previous experience of about eight years, I thought of uh, that I may not be fit for working for long because I used to take work as, as an honor. I would not like to take orders from others and then execute them. I would rather take a lead and, and make it happen. So in 1998, Arun quit his successful professional career to turn entrepreneur. Starting out with just his personal savings, but armed with a host of innovative ideas, he established Aerodry, a company that is today known worldwide for its high-quality automation solutions for plastic and petrochemical industries in particular. Our company makes plastic jewelry equipment, uh, drying, heating, cooling, uh, dozing mixing unit. जो कि हमारे प्लास्टिक ऑल टाइप प्लास्टिक इंडस्ट्रीज को ऑटोमेट करने के लिए हम लोग उपयोग में लाते हैं एरोट्राइज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटीज आर स्प्रेड ओवर 40000 स्क्वायर फीट इन नोएडा एंड द कंपनी हैज सेट अप ऑफिसेस एट मुंबई चेन्नई दिल्ली बेंगलुरु एंड कोलकाता द कंपनी डिजाइंस प्रोडक्ट्स एट इट्स हेड ऑफिस एट नोएडा कीपिंग इन माइंड प्रोडक्ट एप्लीकेशन स्पेस रिक्वायरमेंट एंड आल्सो द एनवायरनमेंट A team of highly qualified professionals is constantly brainstorming to develop new ideas and product solutions. And through all of it, this ISO 9001 to 2000 certified company keeps its constant focus on quality. We prepare a uh, quality assurance plan for our each uh, equipment. They are standardized. The quality assurance plan contains three stages of inspection. That is incoming inspection for the raw material and the bottles and the in-process inspection during manufacturing and the final inspection and testing after the product is made. We use the standard components from the good companies like Siemens or Larsen and Tubro and all that. So we don't use any substandard component in our product lines. What are the industries where your products find application? Plastic and we call on a larger ambit petrochemical industry. The industries which are being served primarily are like polyester fiber uh, producer, producers, bottle uh, manufacturers or uh, film manufacturers for packaging of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the various products. And then if you go larger into it, then like woven sack industries for making fertilizer bags and so on. So today you've come a long way. You have a lot of reputed clients on your list. Can you tell us a little about them? Today we have uh, clients starting from uh, Tata to Wipro to Finolex to Vistion to Subros and they are spread all over India and uh, now we started this year exports. What are the countries that you are uh, exporting to? Currently we are exporting to uh, Middle East, uh, African countries and uh, we are also making our base in Europe. Over the next few years What's your vision for the company? Where do you want to take it from here? Our vision is actually uh, to be a global company, having our brand all over the world and uh, be a 500 crore company by 2018. So what motivates you to be an entrepreneur every day? My personal motivation is that I am helping few families to earn their bread and butter and we are helping our country to be on on the world map to see that we are also contributing in in development of our nation as well as our people. Indeed, small and medium enterprises like Aerodry are today contributing significantly to India's engineering sector. From a 10 crore rupee turnover last year to a target turnover of 28 crore rupees this year, Aerodry is well on its way to becoming big with its clear business strategy, constant innovation and supreme quality of products. 
Yes, indeed, quality and innovation are things that you'll find in abundance in Indian SMEs. From 10 crores to 500 crores in 6, 7, 8 years for a manufacturing industry, I mean, that's a big ambition for AeroDry. Uh, I have one bit of advice in terms of growing like this. I mean, I think uh, the management would say we'll set up offices all over India and do it. But I can tell you this that it's very difficult to suddenly go from one office and one factory to five offices and you know ten offices and five factories so here's my advice don't do five together start with one take one industrial area you're set in there really spread your wings and get 30 40 50 percent market share only then go to the next 